And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to pose like a pro. It's me, Mario. And I've been modeling professionally for about two years now, but I know the feeling when you're standing in front of a camera and you just don't know what to do. But that's exactly why I'm here for you. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how you can pose for pictures, what you can do with your arms, with your legs, and with your face. Let's get started. All right, first question, what can I do with my arms? The golden rule, always keep moving. So when you're at a photo shoot, don't just stand there, wait for something magical to happen. No, you have to always be in motion and give it a purpose. And it doesn't really matter what you do, maybe just touch your wrist. If you have jewelry, maybe play with your ring a little. Arrange your shirt, and you can also cross your arms. The important thing is that you just keep flowing and give everything a purpose. And it always helps to create some angle. So instead of standing stiff like a soldier, everybody's gonna see that you're stiff and uncomfortable. But once you have some angles in your body, grabbing your hair, or by just moving different directions, giving different angles, that's gonna help a lot to create a natural flow. And I know a lot of times you're gonna feel like these poses are cheesy and ridiculous, right? But a lot of times the best moments are not captured when you do the pose, but in the transition. So you always wanna have that slow transition from one pose to another. And I promise you it's all gonna look 100% more natural. All right, thanks Mario. Now I know what I have to do with my arms, but what about my legs? Very good question, my friend. And for legs, it's actually the exact same thing. The golden rule, always keep moving. Now, obviously with your legs, you don't wanna do crazy movements and create crazy angles, but what you can do is shifting your weight. So you usually don't wanna stand stiff on two feet. No, you wanna keep moving, moving from one hip to another. And especially if you're short, I have a very good tip for you. When you shift your weight, you actually wanna have your weight on your back leg so that your front leg looks much longer. It's an optical illusion called the long leg. Oh, so whoever came up with that name must have been super creative. Not only is it gonna elongate your body and make you look thinner and taller overall, no, it's also gonna create a nice flow and everything looks much better in movement. To create even more of that movement, consider taking a step forward. Pretend you're walking somewhere, look back at the camera, that's gonna create even more of that nice flow. And then of course, just play with it, you have nothing to lose, even build a little jump, do crazy things. Worst case scenario, the photographer's not gonna use the picture, but you give him options. He's gonna pick the frame that works for your picture. Okay, so now we've covered arms and legs, but what can I do with my face? Okay, so for your face, I believe, first of all, it's very important to be relaxed. So even before you start shooting, you just want to loosen up your face and do this. Wow, wow, wow. So first of all, it's pretty fun and it's going to entertain people around you. And secondly, it's really going to relax your whole face. And then from there, I would say just play with the camera. Imagine you hate the camera. The camera is your worst enemy and you just want to, you just want to strangle the camera, son of a... Imagine you're really flirting with the camera and you kind of find the camera very attractive. Whatever helps you to get there, just simply play with it. And if you're feeling kind of insecure about looking directly into the camera, I have a tip for you. Look away from the camera or close your eyes for a second and then on the count of three, come back to the camera. You look back up at the camera and that first moment when you look back into the lens is usually the moment when you have the most confidence and that's a very strong look. Just try it out, play with it. I promise you're gonna have a lot of fun and you're gonna have a great picture. All right, great. And one last tip I'm gonna give you. Do your research. And research for modeling and posing literally means looking at magazines. Just going through all these fancy fashion editorials, looking at online shops, kind of get an idea of what poses models use. But then you can simply try it out and try to recreate what they did in a photo shoot. And if you wanna know a bit more in depth, how to take a great picture. I have an ebook for you that you can download now in the description below. It's 100% free and I really hope it's gonna help you to take an amazing picture. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna have a lot more videos coming up, so make sure to subscribe to my channel. Keep smiling and I'll see you in my next video.